back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing like wives sales, find out the gender. I actually found out the gender next week, I'll be 10 weeks. They're doing it through blood and we will find out like a week later. So I'll actually technically find out at 11 weeks, but right now I have all of the wives tells I'm doing written down and I'm gonna like keep points on this paper. So the first one is my ring over my belly. I have my engagement ring and then my wedding band. So I'm gonna do my wedding band and just because I feel like it's a stronger connection. You're supposed to take a piece of your hair. I hate doing this part. Ow. Okay, and you like, I know you probably can't see my hair, but like you thread it through the ring and so you can like grab it right here and then I'm gonna like show you guys so just hold on okay what you do is you lay it on your belly and then you raise it up and if it swings in circles it's a boy swings side to side it's a girl and I know it looks like it's circles but it's actually going kind of side to side So that's a girl. The next one, I'm gonna actually go ahead and write down that on a piece of paper. Put a check mark beside this one because we already done it. Okay. So I feel like it's a boy, and I've not done these tests yet. Um, it's just intuition. I feel like it's a boy. Um. Okay. So there's one point for girl. Put down one point you can see okay and I wrote it very sloppily okay number two is if you're craving salty it's a boy if you're craving sweet it's a girl this is weird for me because I crave both and I know it's not twins because I've had ultrasounds and there is only one baby um, but I crave both <laughs> so I guess that's like a point for both maybe so I guess that's what I'll do is just a point for both and I'll mark that off. Now the next one is a Chinese calendar, and I will put like a screen recording of what I'm doing here because I only have one phone to do this on, so I'm gonna have to like do it on my phone and screen record it, and then just put the screen recording up. So as you can see there, that's a point for girl. The next one's a little weird, um, but I'm an open person. The next one says that, okay, when you are pregnant, your boobs grow. <laughs> um, and if the left one is bigger, it's a girl. If the right one is bigger, it's a boy. I feel like my right one is the bigger one. So I'm gonna put boy on that. Obviously I'm not gonna show you guys, it's a little weird. And I'm not trying to like be, have my videos taken down. Okay, the next one is if my leg hair is thicker, it is a boy. And I, I have PCOS, so I, my leg hair is thicker the way it is. I have hair like in places that most people don't like. A little bit of hair on like below my belly button just like a few little spriggies um and hair grows fast on me i have to shave literally every night or i'll just have hairy legs usually that's what i do is i just shave whenever i'm gonna wear shorts or a dress or something otherwise i don't or if it like starts to pull in my leggings i'll shave but i usually shave every other like three days um, just because it gets so tiring to shave every night. So, I would say that it's not thicker considering the fact that I have PCOS. Um, so my leg hair is thick anyway. And it don't feel thicker than it did. So, I'm going to put a point for girl. The next one is if I have dry skin, 
it's a boy and I feel like my skin's rel relatively like oily and it still feels pretty oily so well right there it feels a little dry but that's just like a dry spot I don't know probably I'm probably gonna put girl on that one and I want a boy this time um so I mean I'm not gonna be disappointed if it's a girl I don't care but like I wanted a boy first and I always have the next one is stolen beauty equals a girl um I have been breaking out like right here but nowhere else is really broken out and like my skin looks pretty good like to be pregnant even like if you can see like, it has a little bit of texture and my face is always red I think I have rosacea but my skin's pretty good and like I think I look the same I just don't have makeup on so hmm I'll put girl. Now the next one is fuller face equals a boy. I do feel like my face is fuller. I feel like it has grown outward a little bit like right here. Um, so I'm going to put boy on that one. No, fuller face equals a girl. So I thought, it, okay, so exit point there. I thought it meant boy. It means girl, so another point for girl. Um... Now the heart rate, okay, if it's above 140, it's a girl. If it's below 140, it is a boy. The first one I went, I went in, the heartbeat was 124. Um, so pretty low, but I was really early too. I was only like six weeks, five weeks, five, I think it was five weeks. Um, then it went up to 168 the next time, and now it is 175, so I will put the most recent is 175 so I will put girl for that one like the next one is pretty cool um the age of conception like your age what when you conceived and then the month that you conceived which mine would be January um so 18 and 1 that is different numbers which means boy if they were both odd or both even and mean girl but if there's one odd one even that's a boy so point for boy now the next one's also a little weird and kind of a little weird to talk about on youtube but like i said i'm an open book um it's like the color of your pee like if it's light or dark i don't know if this has anything to do with it because i don't drink pop and i have not drunk pop in four years um five this coming august um but if your pee is light pee it is a girl if it's dark pee it's a boy um I'd say it's light I mean I don't know if that has to do with the pregnancy or if it has to do with me literally drinking water um, so I'm put light because I mean that is the truth about it but I don't know if that's like it has anything to do with this we have our results the results are one two three four five six seven eight nine a big old three to nine girl has six more points than boy does um right here three to nine so apparently according to the wives tells it is a girl i really do not think so <laughs> but that's what it says um now i'm probably gonna go and film an update of the pregnancy and stuff and yeah um, I really enjoy doing all these little videos. I also have a Q&A coming up. If you know about the app called Telonym, or however you want to tell on M, I call it Telonym. I'll put like a little icon right there so you know what I'm talking about. You can go on there and search me up under It's Just Haley, and you can ask questions. Um, I'm trying to get people to ask about like my first trimester, so I can do like a first trimester Q&A. Um, because I'm almost in my second, thank God, people say you get your energy back in your second, um, but go in there and ask me questions, even if it's not related to the pregnancy, ask me questions, because I love answering questions, and I have, like, 21 questions already from, like, people on Snapchat, um, speaking of, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, I've not posted TikTok in a while, I do acting videos on there, um, because I... 
have been feeling sick um, due to my pregnancy I've been really bad sick so like I've not threw up though and people say that's another one for boy um, that if you don't like get real sick it's a boy if you are deathly sick but it's a girl so I don't know I don't know um, I don't know but we find out soon and we will be doing a gender reveal on what will be posted on this channel as well as the Shaylee channel uh, and yeah that's about it uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe share the video always read my description because that's all of my important information including my social media um, go over to the Shaylee channel and watch all those videos with me and Sean because we have an exciting news coming up. There was a hit in this video. Um, it's already happened because we forgot to film a video about it before it happened. But it's it's okay. It's it's all right. Um, but yeah. So I will see you guys in the next one. I'm probably gonna go film like two more videos to post this week, and I'm gonna try to start doing like when my belly starts growing because my belly still has not started growing, and I'm almost two weeks. Um, I will start doing like bump updates. Um, I believe they're called bump dates. Uh, right now I can still do that if you guys would like me to, but I'm not gonna like do the belly thing. What I'm gonna do is like explain my cravings and stuff because my cravings are changing and like eh, they're a little weird. <laughs> um, nothing too out of the ordinary, just stuff that I normally don't eat on a daily basis. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go, and I'll see you guys in the next time.